We held our fifth meme of it. In this video, you can watch us and our friends build a substructure for water collection in the market garden, a facing for the house garden water storage, and we also spent some hours digging in the cellar. Wolfie and Nini also built a tipping trailer for the tractor and a special planting bed for herbs. Our water storage container generated some red algae. To avoid that, we're covering it with wood. So first, we needed to build a frame. Even with the right dimensions, there is a lot to figure out. We wanted to build a roof with a decline of 5%. Also, the roof should include both containers, which was tricky because they're not the same height. It took some time, but in the end of the day, we finally were done with the substructure. Facing the thing was much more fun, because you see more progress in a short time. The most adventurous task for me was to cut the roof and build the lid. As we had so many people attend, we decided to build a substructure for our rainwater containment on the market gardening. And this was built out of old and quite heavy beams, so we were happy for all the helpers that we had. We first cut the beams to length with a chainsaw, marked out the wooden joinery and then started fabricating those with the band saw and the table saw. Then just some finishing up with the planer and we're nearly done. This turned out to be quite a 3D puzzle, as all the cross-section dimensions were different from beam to beam. To make matters worse, after we drilled the holes we found out that the wooden dowels that we wanted to use were swollen up and wouldn't fit the pilot holes anymore.
In the coming week I built another frame which took quite a while doing it on your own. As we are in need of a tipping trailer for our tractor, we decided to build our own. This project in itself quite big and a long job, so we will have a separate video about it in the coming week. For now you can enjoy the Chaos Hof style wooden joinery.
Even with the second turbo garden, there is still not enough space for everything, so Nini thought about vertical farming. Nini planned to build a solid corpus that could hold some weight, but also they wanted to use as much residual wood as possible. In the end, Nini was facing it with large and drilled some holes in it. That's where the plants grow out. Let's see in a few weeks if it's working the way Nini planned it. The earth cellar had a pretty uneven ground and you couldn't really stand upright when you're tall. We're planning to use this space for vegetable storage. The dense ground and lots of rocks made this task a really sweaty one. <laughs> 